All right, unit five, number eight, successive differences, the last section of this unit. Successive differences, I feel like I have a lisp when I say it, um, is the difference between the function values for each successive y value. And all that means is you're going to be looking at a table of values, and you're going to be able to tell what kind of function it is, at least what degree it is and its end behavior, just by looking at the difference between each function value. These are your function values. And it's, it's actually a quite a cool phenomenon. So how this works is you start with the largest value of x. Okay, so the largest value of x is 5. And we work our way up. So whatever it was, however the table was arranged, look at the largest value of x and work your way up. Now when you're subtracting, you're subtracting the function value, and that's here. So we just do 16 minus 9, we get 7. 9 minus 4, 5. 4 minus 1, so notice how I'm working my way up. I'm doing 4 minus 1 that way. 1 minus 0, 1, and 0 minus 1, negative 1. Okay, now, okay, well, thanks Ms. Ferris, that was great. Uh, what are you doing? So, alright, nothing really special happened with that one. Let's go to the second difference. So we do 7 minus 5, so again, start with the largest value of x, so we're starting with the bottom, and we do 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. And 1 minus a negative 1 is 2. The moment these are all the same, you found the degree of the polynomial. So in this case, the degree of the polynomial is, and it depends on, what difference we're on. So we're on the second difference, so it's 2. Not, not has nothing to do with what this number is. It has to do with the fact that it's a second difference. Well, because the second difference is constant. So the moment you get the exact same number for all of these values, that tells you what degree you're in. So the other thing that you can figure out is what um, is the degree positive or negative. So the degree is positive here, okay, because this number is positive, because the constant, or the number 2, is positive. Okay, so now that we know what the degree is and what the end behavior is, you can now, I mean, what the degree is, and if it's positive or negative, we can then find the end behavior. So since this is an even degree, the degree is positive. Well, I guess this is a bad word. I guess that should be leading coefficient. So I'll fix that before you get it. That should be leading coefficient. Um, is positive. So since the leading coefficient is positive, we know this guy looks like this. So as x goes to infinity, the function f of x goes to infinity. And as f goes, x goes to negative infinity, this way, um, the function goes to positive infinity. So that's it. That's how you do it. Um, we'll do a few more, but it's the same thing. If you want to pause it and um, try it on your own, you can. If not, do another one with me and see how it goes. Okay, 53 minus 19 is 34. 19 minus 3 is 16. 3 minus 1, minus a negative 1 is 4. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. And we just keep going from there. 
So I'll do the next one in another color. Oh, this was 34. 34 minus 16. Okay, and then the final difference, I'll do it in black just to make it whatever. Okay, so for this one, I'm kind of telling you what the common difference is, um, where you get consistent on the back, I don't. You have to do it yourself. So at this moment, they're all sixes, so we know that the degree is the third degree because... Um, the third difference is constant. The degree positive or negative, 6 is positive. So, well, it should be the leading coefficient. Again, I fixed it on yours. Because 6 is positive. Okay, so the degree is 3. It's positive, so we know it looks like this. So the end behavior is x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity, and as x goes to negative infinity, f of x or um, y goes to negative infinity. So take a second, pause it, make see if you can do the next page. And I'm just going to throw the answers up so that you can see it. All right, so for this one, um, I noticed the first difference didn't have a consistent value, but the second difference did. The second difference, so it's 2, the degree is 2, because the second difference is constant. Okay, and is it positive or negative? Well, this number is negative. because 6 is negative. All right, so this is a degree 2, so it looks like this. It's up to side down. So as x goes to positive infinity, y goes to negative, and as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. Okay, to pause it for a second, take and do the next one. All right, here's the answers for this one. The last one, um, looking at the table of values, um, you'll notice that the it's constant at the third because third difference is neg is um, three or is constant. That's what I was looking for. Third difference is constant. I mean, it's the same. Um, the leading coefficient is negative because it's negative 6. Okay, whenever that's negative, the leading coefficient is also negative. Okay, um, so this is a third degree equation. That's negative, so we know we start up here, go down there kind of thing. So as x goes to positive infinity, going this way, um, y goes to negative infinity, y goes down, and negative infinity, positive infinity. Okay, if you are having slight issues with this, this may be because um, you have to subtract sign numbers. So just be careful. So for example, when you're doing negative 110, like something like this, you're subtracting them, so it's negative 110 minus a negative 51. So these two negatives become a positive, and that's how I get negative 59 is my answer. So just uh, watch that. It's negative minus a negative. Okay, have a good day.